Okay, so last week I told you guys I'd show you how to color horns the cheap way. I learned this trick from a good friend of mine, Skylar Olson. His Instagram is Olson Skylar, and uh, he's also got a Facebook page, Backcountry Nation. And I tried this three or four times on some pretty good bucks. Uh, one of them turned out perfect, one of them turned out really good, and I figured out that the horn has to have just a little bit of natural color still left in it and no cracks, otherwise it won't work very good. So I'll show you the horns I've got here in just a second and show you the difference of how it colors if it's got natural color or cracks and how well it colors that way. Okay. So here's kind of some things you'll need. Obviously you're going to need your horns. Uh, this guy right here is just about perfect. Um, you can see how he's bleached but he's got a little bit of natural color left in it. Just barely starting to crack there. Maybe one little crack right there. Um, bleaching a little more on this side but it should color up fairly well. Uh, here's the other side of him right here. Um, got a little more cracks in this one. Not too bad though. It should turn out alright. Uh, we'll see once we get going here. Uh, by the time you get done you shouldn't even hardly be able to see those cracks. And this side obviously has quite a bit of natural color left in it still so that side will color up even better. So along with your horns, um, you're going to need some steel wool. You don't have to use it, it just helps you get some highlights in, in the horn um, where they've rubbed off a little bit of their color and also helps tone down the clear coat afterwards if it's too bright. A um, pair of gloves, you don't have to have those either, it just helps uh, to keep from staining your hands. can of uh, just clear spray paint, uh, semi-gloss or gloss either way, you can tone down the gloss with the steel wool if you have to later, an old toothbrush, and a coffee maker. So I've got some coffee grounds in there, that's from yesterday. Uh, I'm going to use some of the ones from this morning too. The fresher the grounds are, the better it tends to work. Um, I use Starbucks uh, French Roast. Uh, it tends to darken them up a little bit more, but I've tried a couple other kinds. tried Folgers, tried Pete's Coffee, and both of those work equally as well. They just have a little bit lighter color. So you can experiment with the color by using different kinds of coffee. Okay, so to do this, all we gotta do is dump the coffee grounds in a bowl and uh, start rubbing the grounds on the horn. And like I said, all we gotta do is just grab the grounds and just start rubbing it on. Alright, here's where the toothbrush comes into play. When you get down to the base right there where there's a lot of bumpy stuff, it's hard to get the coffee out of it. So use the toothbrush to just clean that out of there. You can see how well it's already coloring up. It takes no time at all. Oh, you can see, got some nice color on there. It's a little dark right now, but that's what the steel wool is for. You'll use it on the ridges right here and down here at the base to kind of get your little highlights right there. And uh, then as soon as it dries out just a little bit, we can put the clear coat on it and call it good. Okay, with the steel wool, it doesn't take much rubbing to get a little bit of highlights on there, so take it easy with it. You can just recolor it back up with the coffee if you need to, but uh, mainly down here along the bases, just kind of Give it a rub right there and it'll break the color off the top right there and gives a lot more natural look to it. Alright, then once you get the look that you want, 
Uh, go ahead and just stop. I guess I got a little too much color down at the base still there. Uh, you can see how much more highlight you've got in it now. And it's lightened it up a lot compared to this one now. I haven't done this one yet. And, uh, and take the toothbrush to it again and get all the little pieces of steel wool out of it. And there you go. Now you got a brown set of horns instead of uh, your old or chalky ones. Uh, you can still see just a little bit of cracks in that one, but unless you're looking real close, you can't even see them. And uh, this side, you can only see one little itty bitty crack. I don't even know if you can see it on the on camera on that one. So here's a brown from the same area that has. Uh, just a little more color in it still than that other one. Uh, this one was laying in a bush, so it wasn't right out in the wide open bleaching. And I mean, you can see how close the color is on those. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Um, the only thing really missing is this one's not quite as uh, as glossy. A real light clear coat on it. And you can tell it's a lot more glossy now. It's almost too glossy. So what you do is once that dries, take the steel wool to it and break that gloss down just a little bit and it turns out just about perfect. And while we're waiting for those ones to dry, I'll uh, show you the other one that's a little bit older and how it doesn't turn out quite so good. Oh, there and as you can see you can see the cracks a lot more in this one it really tends to actually accentuate the cracks it darkens them instead of lightens them and on the back side there it's kind of the same deal you can actually see the cracks better um, with the color on it when you're looking from far away it doesn't look too bad but then once you start looking up close it looks horrible so like I said it only works with horns that have a little bit of natural color left in them um, even if you break it down the steel wool Try and lighten it up, get your tones back in it. It still just doesn't quite turn out right. So there's your comparison of the two horns. Um, same deer, found same year. Um, one was laying on the ground for two years, and one was not quite a year, probably right out of year. Uh, anyway, the one looks really good, the one not so good. This one's actually not too bad. It's uh, now that it's dried, the uh, the shine on it's not so bad, but it, like I said, if you want to break that shine down a little bit, all you gotta do is just take that steel wool to it, and that breaks that little bit of shine. It's a little shiny right here. You can probably actually even see that on camera. Just break it down a little bit, shine's gone. Just enough of a natural shine. Well, there you go. Start to finish, how to recolor antlers with coffee grounds and a couple other household supplies. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it works good for you. And uh, stay tuned, in a couple weeks I'll uh, be having another video of how to make uh, belt buckles out of elk antlers. Thanks for watching.